Hey everybody, welcome back, Stone Broke Adventure. Today's episode, we're gonna do a little capacity test on the Greener Power 100 amp hour Group 24 lithium iron phosphate battery. Greener Power sent me this to do some tests on, and that's what we're gonna do for them. So let's get right into it, see how this thing comes packaged, right? Nice zipper pack. We have our product manual, right? Your standard product manual. All right, nice, easy to read, has all your specifications. Looks like we have a little, kind of a little sales pamphlet in here. All right, and your little quick start guide. Here's the battery here. Two different sets of lugs, pretty standard anymore with the lithium batteries, All right? We got the long ones if you're adding uh, more terminals on here and you need that extra depth or the short ones, say if you just have one single terminal. So this is the Group 24 battery. There's also a mini variation on that. That's your standard Group 24, nice looking battery. Lightweight, 100 amp hours, a lot of capacity, but we're gonna test that capacity. We gotta make sure that what they say is true. We need to make sure that this actually does hold 100 amp hours. These batteries do not come fully charged. First thing you need to do when you get a battery like this shipped to you, uh, you're gonna have to charge it up fully. That's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna charge this. When this thing is fully charged, we'll be back. We'll run the test on this. Also, if you look in the links down below, we are gonna have a couple of links for this. Amazon link, their actual uh, product link on their website. We have a link for the MakerHawk battery tester. That's the tester we're gonna be using to do the capacity test on this. So we've got the MakerHawk 150 watt battery capacity tester hooked up to this. You can see here, we're running this test at a 10 amp test, 130 watts. And uh, we've been running it right now for an hour and 50 minutes. We may adjust this through the test just to get our timing right. But um, we're gonna make sure that we get 100 amp hours, which is gonna be right here. We've already pulled 18.78 amp hours. So we're gonna run this test. It's gonna take a little while, but you see here, nice looking, nice looking battery. We can see here the parameters on this thing. Recommended charge current on this thing is a 20 amp charge, uh, but it can hold a charge capacity of 100 amp. The recommended charge voltage is of course for lithium batteries is 14.6 volts. If you're charging this thing and the voltage goes over 15.2 volts, the BMS is gonna protect this battery. We can run these batteries four in par parallel connected to four in series. So that's eight batteries all together hooked up. You gotta hook them up correctly, but you can have 800 amp hours of power if you hook them up in parallel combined with series. When it says maximum continuous discharge current, that's a current that you never want to exceed with this battery, right? That BMS is made to handle 100 amps, right? Easily, right? But you don't want to exceed that. Make sure you have no more than 100 amps of load on this. Peak current, sometimes things will surge, right? You don't want to exceed a peak current of 200 amps for three seconds. Now this does have a built-in protection on it, something short circuits, or you have a really large uh, surge in amps, that's your 300 amp cutoff, right? 300 amps, so that thing should cut off. We're gonna test that. We wanna make sure that this battery, right, will run at the 100 amp capacity, right? We're gonna push it up to 200 amps. And then we're going to surge it to 300 amps and see if that BMS cuts it off at that 300. Amps. BMS discharge cutoff voltage is 10 volts. So when this battery gets below 10 volts, it will shut down. The BMS will shut down. That way you have enough power in that battery to keep that BMS alive so you don't run this all the way down. We've uh, run the capacity test. Definitely passes. Let's take a look at the results. All right. Where you can see that. 102 amp hours, right? 102 amp hours, still at 12 volts, just dropped to 11.9 volts. Remember, the cutoff on this is uh, 10 volts, less than 10 volts, the BMS will cut out. So we still got a little ways to go. 102, uh, what do we got here? 13.02 watt hours, and that was a nine, 10 hour, almost a 10 hour run, of course, because we were running just a little over 10 amps. 
but yeah, definitely passes, right? 102 amp hours, still got more to go, right? Plenty of capacity in the battery. All right, let's go to our test center here. You see here, we got the greener power, 100 amp hour, group 24 battery installed into our system, right? We have our inverter section right over here. Everything's tied in with our heavy gauge wire. Inverter is inside this box, 120 volt, 120 volt, right? We have a heat gun set up, right? At max, that should draw 125 amps. We're gonna monitor everything right here on our uh, little amp meter, right? Battery monitor. Okay, and then we have another uh, vacuum cleaner, draws a lot of amps and that should pull this um, above 200 amps. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on low. We'll see how many amps we're drawing on this right now. 62 amps on low. Let that run for just a second. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on high. Running 125 amps. If we get in real close here, we can prove that 126, 127 amps. All right, so that BMS is definitely holding. We have 128 amps. So let's go ahead and turn on this vacuum cleaner. So we're pulling 200 amps right now on that. The BMS is holding at 200 amps. We'll go ahead and shut everything down. So the overload protection on this, 300 amps for just a few milliseconds. So we've got blow dryer, heat gun. We're gonna turn that on afterwards. We'll see if we can get this up, get that BMS to trigger. We're at 82 amps right now. Okay. We're at 200 amps. When we turn this on, should shut off. There we go, the BMS shut off on overload friction. So it turned off, waited a few seconds, and it turned back on. So it does have that overcurrent protection right at 300 amps, will shut right off. Definitely works. Uh, high current shut off on that BMS right at the 300 that they stated. We ran the test on it, has over 100 amp hours of power in here. So yeah, we're happy with that. We're happy with the product. Definitely worked, definitely passed the test. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.